So here's the entrance to Salcom. Um, it's a not chat. Well, it is a little bit of a challenge because there's a bar um, and there's a lot of rocks, but they are everything is well marked. So when we came in, obviously there was a massive boat here, um, and the fairway was. It's a little bit difficult just to see where everything is because um, yachts are, are tied onto buoys either side. So there's some visitor moorings either side, as you can see here down this side as well, uh, and then you've got uh, people anchoring as well. So this guy's anchored. You can anchor. You can anchor next to the moorings. So, as you can see, there's the entrance. And as we get a little bit closer, we'll just show you where you need to be. Because you do actually come a, long for, a lot further over than actually it tells you to. So the line on my chart is quite far to the middle, um, where the actual track line that everybody seems to be following in um, and coming in on is really close to the rock. Um, and also on the little guidebook that they give you, it's also really close to the rock. So that's what we're, uh, we'll show you on the way out. But, Basically, we're heading round to Plymouth. Um, we're gonna spend a couple of days in there. We're still feeling a little bit rough. Feel, I'm feeling a lot better today. Christine's not feeling well now. Um, hasn't done for the last couple of days, but we've just got really bad sort of colds. Whether it's COVID, I don't know, but we've um, we've not felt great. Uh, so that's our plan. We've actually secured someone to move the boat now. So we're gonna get it a little bit further down the coast and then someone's going to take over and take it around the corner and, and bob it up to Wales because we're just not going to make it unfortunately with the with the weather and everything else that's happened um, early it's sort of towards the end of this week the weather is not good for going up the channel and um, there's a big sort of blow coming through so we would get stuck either just around the corner or at Milford Haven and if we get stuck at Milford Haven it's a bit of a challenge for us to get back and also to secure a berth so we've managed to secure a berth with MDL at Plymouth um, and we're able to leave the boat there. A skipper is able to pick it up from there and take it around the corner because um, we wouldn't be able now to get past that point. So it is what it is. Um, but we didn't get off to a great start. We basically had a week where we were stuck in the Solent uh, with the weather that we had down there and, and a few other things, a little bit of a diesel problem and a few other bits, but we've, we've corrected all of that and um, we've had a couple of days here which have been really nice the beaches here are absolutely gorgeous so it would have been a shame just to keep going and just miss all of this just for the sake of getting it around the corner so we've decided not to do that and not to try and break our necks when we can't finish the journey anyway um, and instead hand it over and, and let somebody else just basically sail it up the Irish Sea that's what we're doing here's a little tour boat going out uh, houses it reminds us very much of the river dart it's very much like the river dart so just behind the rock here you can see this guy's uh, anchored and you can see the power boat there that's one of the anchorages the other one uh, like i say is sort of uh, out on the outside uh, but the harbour master said with the tide when the tide does rip through here that many most of the problems they have are with the anchored boats uh, dragging their anchors um, but this is one of the recommended anchorages just here. This rock dries further out than, than that. When we came in, we saw that much further out. And the same here, there's a, there's a rock at this pole. So again, you've got to come right round and then in if you're going into there. Um, don't, don't attempt to try and cut the corner. Um, yeah, it's very nice. It, it is, the, the beach, the little beaches that pop up everywhere are absolutely beautiful. And now we're at the entrance here. So as you can see, all the boats have come right far over um, I will put the chart on and I'll show you the chart from, from what mine says. My line on the uh, lighthouse chart is quite far over and it's not the best track to come in on to be perfectly honest. It's much better to get closer to the rocks on that side where everybody else is now. Um, it's deeper. So we're just at Hope Cove now. A lovely little stop. Just going to stop for some dinner. Christine's just trying to get in the water. She thinks that that's the best way to cure a cold <laughs> is to just dive straight in. I'll get out if she gets in. <laughs> I'm not going in. I went in yesterday to be honest uh, at um, Salcombe. I had a bit of a swim off the beach, that was really nice. She's I'm not, in. not in. She's not in. <laughs> She's not going in. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Are you in? Oh, no, Come on. Really. You're in close enough now. <laughs> Go on, I'll film her now. She's in. She's in. 
<laughs> well done. <laughs> Best way to uh, cure a cold, apparently. Just get in the cold sea. Some more yachts coming in. Mankered at the back here. So we're heading towards Plymouth, just in the distance there, about nine miles to go. Just going along the coast. There's uh, Hope Cove in the background and where we came from before, so I'll come around there, headland just there. And as you can tell, we're motored again. So at the moment, the wind is on the nose. Um, it's going to be northerly uh, for a bit later on today. Uh, and then it's supposed to turn and come completely full 360 <laughs> and then back. And then we've got westerlies again. We're going to trundle into here. We're going to spend the night in um, Plymouth. And then we're going to see what we're going to do. We might come back out for a little bit and we might head down the coast a little bit further. And then we're going to come back and drop the boat off here uh, and keep the boat here for a couple of days until the guys from Halton can pick it up. And then they're going to take it round early next week. One day, either I think Tuesday or Wednesday, they're going to pick it up because it looks like a really good weather window. But unfortunately, we're back at work. But we've got a couple of duff days coming and then some really nice settled weather again. Uh, we were kind of hoping that that would either come forward slightly and we could have carried on. But um, yeah, it, it doesn't look like it's going to move at all. Up in the um, Irish Sea, it's going to be about 30 knots and that, that's too much for us. So we're not uh, we're not going through that. So this is Core Sands, and this is Cornwall. So the bay is actually split in half. That side is Devon and this side is Cornwall. So we've actually just about made it to Cornwall. So there's a big cruise ship just over here, just in the bay. There's a bit of a breakwater uh, just here, just where this boat is and the lighthouse there. And then you go round that. We came in the other side and today we've come across here. It's only three and a half miles across this bay. So we just um, came across, we did a little bit of a sail in the middle and then we um, have just anchored on this side of the bay over here. So I pretty much think this is all sand um, from the Navionics chart anyway, it seems to be sand. So you can see quite a few boats in the bay today. It's really nice here. Chris and Catherine have had a bit of a swim off the back and um, we're just getting ready. We're going to go back now. We're, we're going to head back into um, Queen Anne's Battery or Q QAB as they say on the radio uh, and we've got um, another night's Thursday today so we've got um, another couple of nights we're getting a car tomorrow to head back so we need to go drive all the way back now and pick our car up which was kind of the plan but we thought we'd end up doing that from Wales but obviously we didn't didn't quite get that far um, so we're doing it from down here uh, and we've got somebody coming on the boat on Sunday to move it around the corner for us so they're going to uh, take it up the coast of Wales because unfortunately we've got to go home and back to work. So that's the plan. Big cruise ship in there. Uh, is that its actual name? Or is its name yeah. is Ambience? Ambience. Its name's I think Ambience. It's, it's Ambassador Cruises, isn't it? And Ambassador Leisure, does that say? Ambassador Cruise Line. Oh, Ambassador Cruise Line. And the boat's name is called, or oh, the ship's name is called Ambience. Just anchored in the bay got its little um, launch out at the side and um, been bobbing people around most of the day we've seen it, it go across a couple of times we've um, we've had a nice sail back actually so we left the bay and we sailed back we just put our sail away um, I'm gonna motor into here because I'm not all that familiar with the uh, the harbour itself so we're just gonna motor this last little bit it's a little bit confusing this this so the, the kind of this is the curve uh, and the way out this is where all the big ships come they come through this channel here through the red and then round or round that way because you can see another red and a and a cardinal mark and a green over there so we can go anywhere we want over there it's deep enough for us to do that but obviously for these big guys it's not so when you first come in and you kind of see this bit you're a bit like oh where do i go but you can just go through the gap there 
so there's a, a another cardinal mark on the end and a green and a tower and you can just go straight through there or you can go around if you want to but you don't need to there's plenty of depth just so. film a little update on this one go on then just a little update on now she's settled in really well we've actually just carried on with a harness she wears a rough wear harness because it's got three points on it and um, which means that we've got a lot of grip on her because she's so flighty with it being a rescue she um, likes to escape but we found this harness is brilliant and we put it on rather than a life jacket um, but I will show my life jackets on because that's also three points um, three point uh, lock as well yeah so you can pick them up from it but she hasn't been anywhere near the water but as you can see she's very very relaxed <laughs> very relaxed as is this one over here is also very relaxed and as we've done a bit of sailing this one's also relaxed yeah a bit more relaxed today <laughs> <laughs> i hate motoring <laughs> just constantly motoring i want to sail <laughs> so you can see the channel a little bit more clearly now there's a there's a cardinal mark here to stop you going too far that way but basically there's your red and your green and then from that point you can turn left or right it's, it's entirely up to you or like everyone else is doing we can just go straight through this gap that's dead in front and um, we don't need to worry about any of that because that's for the the bigger ships but there is a tower and a cardinal here uh, the tower is just behind this boat now you can probably just see it uh, where that other yacht is there so yeah just avoid that little area but again you can sail right up close to it because again for, for us it's it's plenty plenty deep enough and then the channel continues that way down there that's the river tamar um, and i'm not quite sure what this little creek river bit this side is called um, but we're queen anne's is just the other side of here and um, where you can see the roofs there that's the um um what is it not the aquatic center it's the aquarium that's the one so that's the aquarium just there and you can walk across there there's another marina behind and you can walk all around this little bit and there's a resident seal there is a resident seal isn't there yeah yeah there's a resident seal uh, that's in the marina so you can see him bobbing around as well <laughs> So as we started to head home, the boat started to head round the corner. On the Sunday evening, they left Plymouth and they went round the Lizard and made their way up to Newland. They said that this was an incredibly rough journey, um, particularly motoring into the waves round the corner of the Lizard. They spent the night there and then the following morning they left, rounded Land's End and started to make their way across the Bristol Channel before reaching St David's Head. From St David's Head, they passed Bardsey, headed round Hollyhead, and then pulled into Bull Bay to wait for the tide. Once the tide was in, they made their way to the gangway.